Hey everybody, so this week's P5JS tutorial, we are going to be making a xylophone that we can trigger with keyboard presses. Uh, we're gonna be building off the envelope object that we learned last time. Remember the envelope helps us create sounds that can be a little more realistic in terms of when they start and when they stop and how they start and stop. They come in fast or they come in slow. You can fade in, fade out, that kind of stuff. Uh, so we are going to create a project that does that. Here's the finished version. All right, so we have color changes, we have key presses, we have a bunch of different bars that represent uh, each note on it. Uh, but to start this out, so I'm going to switch to a blank one here, there's a few different concepts that we are going to need to learn. And these are a little of a higher level concept uh, that we're going to get into, which are very powerful and very useful in all types of programming languages, and especially in P5.js if we want to start doing bigger and more complicated kinds of things. Uh, if you recall when we did like the the drum pad, we had to create variables for every different rectangle that we wanted. We had to write out code for every rectangle, fill for every rectangle, key press for every rectangle. And if we step for four, it wasn't that bad, but now we want like eight bars. If we wanted to do like 20 bars or a hundred bars. That would just get way too complicated, way too much code to keep track of. So we're gonna cover a few different things for this project that will make it a bit easier to have larger amounts of things going on without having to write code for all of that, okay? So uh, first thing though I'm gonna show you is instead of frequency for the notes that we're gonna play in the xylophone, we're actually going to use MIDI notes. So similar to Sonic Pi, like we have play 60, play 70, play 80. Uh, we're gonna use that for the notes instead of frequencies like 220 or 660 or 1000. We're not gonna use Hertz, we're gonna use MIDI notes, okay? So uh, I'm very quickly gonna start by creating my oscillator and envelope object. So I need to, again, create these variables to store the object. I'm gonna start by making the envelope object. So uh, envelope close, okay. Oop, I need new. So a new P5 envelope is gonna be stored in the ENV, the end object. And then I need to uh, end dot set uh, attack decay, sustain, release, okay? So this is, remember, sort of the fade in. If you remember the diagram from last time, we sort of, the attack is how the note starts, the decay is sort of where it goes down after it hits that first volume level, it then kind of evens out in the sustain, and then the release is how it stops. So for a xylophone, you hit a xylophone, it makes a very quick, loud sound, and then it goes away pretty quickly as well. So I'm gonna do zero, 0.01 for the attack, so very quickly you're gonna come in and then a 0.1 for the decay. I usually just do one for the sustain and then let's say maybe 0.25 for the release so it'll fade out very quickly as well, okay? Next I need to make my oscillator object, so oscillator equals new p5 dot oscillator, open, close, and I'm actually gonna right now, I'm gonna make this a triangle wave okay so remember it takes it has an optional argument that you can choose what type of uh, oscillator sound you want to use I'm gonna use a triangle so I'm gonna start it but then to store for the amp I put inside the amp I put the name of my envelope object okay so the amplitude is going to be affected by the envelope which I have sort of set here how it gets loud and quiet again okay and then uh, function lowercase k key capital P pressed so just to trigger all my uh, envelope sounds or oscillator sounds with the key press uh, oh curly bracket here okay so now I click I click the canvas okay so now I have a nice short quick little uh, oscillator that plays every time I press a key Okay, so what I'm gonna show you first is how can I transition the frequency from uh, hertz 
to MIDI notes, okay? So right here in draw, I'll just do it, okay? So oscillator.freak, or os.freak was the name of my oscillator object. And inside of that, I am going to write a command called MIDI, capital T2, capital F, freak, and then open, close parentheses, okay? So be mindful here, I have, so MIDI.freak by itself, or I just kind of throw it out here, uh, that's what it looks like. We can't use it by itself. It has to be attached to some sort of frequency like that. Uh, but notice it does have open close parentheses there, so which go inside the parentheses for os.freak. So this can sometimes run you into some uh, error messages if you don't keep up with how many parentheses you have. Okay. So I'm going to use 60. All right. So now if I run this and I press gives me the note 60. Now let's say I do 61, and I'm going to rerun it, okay, 62, 63, 67, okay, so you can hear that now those are increasing as actual musical notes like C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. Uh, so this is now helpful if I want to play actual musical notes instead of just figuring out the frequency uh, and even trying to transition to that. So that's going to be helpful as we build this xylophone. Uh, so in the next video, I'm going to cover how can I sort of have different pitches that I can access at any given time. All right, so I'll go to that in the next video.